Hi, I'm the Malt Activist. And if you've been wondering where I've been, well, I got the dreaded virus. That's right, I got infected with COVID in the middle of December. And uh, luckily, uh, luckily, touch wood, it was a very, very mild case. I was about sick for about four days. And then on the fifth day, I felt great. But th th those were a tough four days, you know. Uh, I felt really bad. I was... Uh, super exhausted, lots of fatigue, body ache, and it generally, you know, sort of dampened my mood on doing anything for a very long time. And it, it took a while to recover from its after effects, which is, you know, just like a general sense of uh, melancholy for some reason. So uh, weird disease, this, seriously. But, you know, I'm happy to report that uh, I'm back in action making videos. Uh, and um, all I want to say is, you know, stay safe. I know it's, uh, uh, there's mutated uh, strands and, and viruses now everywhere, including the UK and South Africa and Denmark and I don't know where else. Uh, and, and, you know, exploding cases in the US. And guys, I just want to say that this is real. It's like, nobody's faking it. Nobody's joking around. This stuff is real. And if you don't protect yourself, you are going to get... Um, infected and you might not be one of the lucky ones like me you know um, I know some people who weren't that lucky in the sense they had it really really bad and they were in the ICU for a long time so please stay safe uh, and uh, let's get on with whiskey tasting this is not going to be a post covid this is how I'm doing video this is about whiskey tasting and for my triumphant return I have chosen this this compass box phenomenology so as a huge fan of uh, compass box and you know john glazier uh i've tried to get my hands on you know uh, as many of their whiskeys as i can and they basically got blended whiskeys out of the slump they made it made them look cool no when i say out of the slump i don't mean that you know they increase sales because blended whiskeys are 95 percent of what's sold in the world uh don't quote me on that number but uh they made uh, they made blended whiskeys cool you know uh and that whole stigma of uh, single malt versus blended whiskey was just eviscerated and they just did a, such a fantastic job of positioning their whiskeys and being so creative about how to uh, you know package them and and how to construct them and what I love best is how absolutely transparent they are and that uh, that they're able to pretty much you know hit it out of the park every single time which is I think a huge testament to uh, you know their blending team and John Glazier himself obviously uh, we had a tasting recently uh, when I say recently a bit like you know about a couple of months ago uh, with uh, with the guys over at compass box and we tasted three whiskeys with them uh, the spice tree uh, the no name which is like 75% art bag uh, and I think I did a review of that as well um, actually you know what? here's the link you can check that uh, review out and uh, the phenomenology and since I had done the review for both spice tree and no name this was the only one left so without further ado let's first get it in the glass right so this is non chill filtered there is no color and it's bottled at 46 percent and I'm sure with the with the bright sunlight streaming and this is looking far more bright than it is but it's a nice you know lovely gold color what I love most about compass box is their uh, you know a level of transparency that they have uh, for all their whiskies uh, and um, they might not be able to tell you what age all those different whiskies are that they've put in the bottle uh, because SWA frowns on that but you know they found a way around it and they've basically broken it down since these are sort of craft uh, blended whiskies uh, they can pretty much tell you what different whiskies you know uh, are in this 72% whiskey from Glen Lossy it's from a Richard Hogshead and that's supposed to give you fresh fruit and apples then you have uh, whiskey from Tamdu that's 24.5% from a first fill bourbon cask uh, giving you caramel oak and spice and that's pretty much like two of the major components. I think this is almost like 96% now more 
Uh, then you have uh, Highland Park, which makes up about 2%. It's from a recharred hogshead that's supposed to give you burnt butter, bonfire, and tar. Um, whiskey from Talisker, very nice. Uh, that's just 1% from a refill butt. Uh, so I guess all the salty coastal brine stuff comes from there. And finally, just 0.5% whiskey from Kalila. Uh, matured in a hog's head and that's supposed to give you marshmallow vanilla and some sweet smoke now I mean obviously I'm no blender or expert uh, whiskey maker but I don't understand the 0.5% uh, I don't even know if it makes a difference but hey uh, I'm sure uh, compass box blenders have a way better palette than I do and you know hey if it makes a difference it makes a difference so here we are Yeah, so now, you know, because I've already read the notes, I'm kind of getting the same flavor. But there's a hint of saltiness and brininess that comes through first. But um, uh, but it's immediately uh, sort of overtaken by a sweetness and a fruity sweetness it is too. Yeah, caramel, apple, vanilla. It's not an immediately forthcoming nose. Uh, it takes a while. It... It seems a little closed for some reason. It seems, for some reason, seems a little fainty, you know, slightly spirity, a bit of varnish in there as well. And I get that from the Highland Park. So there's a lot of these new Highland Parks um, that have that uh, very specific furniture, varnish, uh, polish, uh, fainty uh, aroma which I'm not a huge fan of and I'm kind of getting it in here I don't know if it's if it's my mind playing tricks maybe maybe not but overall decent nose uh, it, uh, it's on the sweeter side uh, it's on the fruitier side yeah it's not bad I like it mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow <clears throat> okay so there's a bottle at 46 percent but seems like a lot more for some reason which is a good thing which means it's uh it's flavorful i would have liked the delivery to be a little more robust a uh, bigger but uh, but it's on the medium to thin side but that's okay, I guess. Um, very fruity, uh, straight up. Um, but then gets a little uh, uh, a hint of minerals towards the end, like limestone and pebbles. Uh, super long finish. I can still feel it in my in my palate and in my chest. It screams, you know, uh, space side, thanks to Glenn Lossie and Tamdu. Yeah, I get more toffee and caramel now. Now that my palate is wet. Yeah, look, overall, this is a good whiskey. Um, I do, again, pick up those faint notes of varnish and shoe polish, which I, again, suspect is from Highland Park. I could be absolutely wrong, but it's there, and I think that's the only, only downside of this whiskey. Otherwise, it's a very pleasant drinking experience. Um, it's not absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but it's uh, it's qu quite good, you know. Um, I'd give it like a seven out of ten, which is on the slightly above average scale. So, uh, well-made whiskey, I think, will be liked by many people. It's quite, and I hate using this word. It's absolutely my uh, least favorite word to describe a whiskey, but it's actually it's quite smooth in the sense that there's not a lot of spices to it. Um, which is something that I would have liked. So I think uh, more on the sweeter side, um, uh, medium to thin bodied, uh, I think would do well in travel retail uh, and to sort of younger whiskey drinkers. When I say younger, I mean, uh, you know, who haven't been drinking for that long. Uh, but uh, overall, good whiskey, lovely bottle. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Lovely bottle, great design. You know, I don't know if you can see it. Great design, and um, yeah, overall another another successfully blended whiskey from the geniuses over at Compass Box. So thank you, thank you for um, 
spending time with me. I apologize for the silence and the absence, uh, but I'm uh, glad to be back. It's good to be back and uh, uh, I'll be definitely doing a lot more of these a lot more frequently. So thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. I'm the Malt Activist. Until next time. Peace.